Okay, and and from this point on, I'm expecting to see we've got Japanese airbase over here, Japanese airbase over here. They're active over on these other islands as well. I'm considering myself, and yeah, I'm definitely in enemy territory. We're going to be cautious and expect company in just at any second. That's my plan. Ooh, what is this? It's interesting. It showed up they didn't give me a ship spotted message over there, though. Huh. Okay. What direct? Where, where is? Where did you see this? Um, guys, where did you see this ship? You, if it shows up on my map, you should be telling me about it, right? Right? Give me a bearing where I can look at it. Guys, I don't see anything. Are, are you guys just eagle eyes all of a sudden? Which, I suppose it's kind of cool. It's surprising. What kind of a bearing are we looking at here? Uh, so that be right about 50 degrees? I don't see anything. I don't see the ship. I don't see a smokestack. I don't see smoke. Alright, well, let's go investigate them anyways. What kind of distance are we talking about that you saw in this? You saw him 40 miles away, did you? Really? Excuse my skepticism, but damn. Alright, okay. We'll do it. We'll do it this way. Let me go see who that is. Be excellent if, if again we get a good start to this patrol, start sinking bad guys before we even get to our assigned patrol area. That would make me very happy. Here in the Banda Sea, which is kind of like panda except spelled with a B, so it's like a, a a softer panda. Pandas are pretty soft anyway, but it's even softer now. <laughs> I'm probably mispronouncing that one too. It's probably Bondi, Bandy, right? I don't know. It's, it's a problem when, whenever, whenever um, you, you play these historical games, games based in real places, they have real names, languages I don't speak. Uh, I just don't know how it's pronounced. I just wing it, you know. <laughs> it's probably Banda. Looks looks like Banda. I don't see how it's... I didn't... I thought that I couldn't even see over the horizon that far. This seems to me like a glitch, really. And you guys didn't tell me that you spotted a ship. I don't see anything. Anything at all. Tellingly, the dot on the map has not moved at all. Yeah, you... You with your officer's cap on you thinking that you're all cool and stuff. You're imagining things. There ain't no ship out there. Yeah, if there was a ship out there, we'd be now within like 10 miles of it. We should certainly be able to see it. Uh, you guys, is this some kind of a practical joke you're attempting to play in your captain? Is that what's happening here? I'm confused. All right, here, well, we'll try it. We'll try it this way. Just to go on our way and swing up there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to delete, delete that sound file. Clear, cloudless night with no haze, perfect visibility. A little bit of moon out. If there's anything out there, we'd see him. No. The guy's playing a trick on me. It's not even a funny one. So, let's just be in our way. Okay, time to put my money where my mouth is. We're going to try this running on the daylight. You guys just extra, extra alert. I'm watching for you, watching for all the airplanes, right? Because my crew, let me see, who's this guy? Yeah, this guy. 
you are Lieutenant Titus. You've, you've, you've got this special, special binocular skill. You've got like magic green binoculars. So I'm very, very confident. And we've got somebody, we should have somebody manning the radar, don't we? Let's just, hang on. Let's just take a look at this. Yeah, we've got this guy back here. He's, he's, he's another one of those, those redhead guys with the big nose. We've got like eight of these guys on board. Anyway, yeah, he's back there. He's, he's keeping an eye on the radar. So, yeah, the radar is supposed to let us know about airplanes. So we got radar and we got guys with magic binoculars. So these airplanes had just better not find us. That's all I got to say about that. Or, I thought I was finding out about them first. Merchant spotted. Okay, well, that seems extremely close to us, guys. Uh, six miles away. You're supposed to see guys sooner than that. Okay, 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 hang on. Let's see. I cannot yet make out that flag. And we're dangerously close. Let's go to periscope depth yes, right now. He's going the opposite direction of us. I think it is a Japanese flag. It's really hard to see. But he's, he's moving in a direction kind of like that. So we are going to tell you what we're going to do. We, we are going to sweep around. We're going to head in a direction like this. And punch it up to full yes, speed. Yes, I'm going to listen to him. Yep, sounds like a merchant. Let's take a listen around, see who else is out there. Okay, let's mark where he was. There we go. Yeah, listen to her boat all squeaking and creaking. <laughs> I, I hope I hope it's not squeaking and creaking too much. It's it's a good boat, right? It's okay. It's, it's not going to fall apart. Any of you guys worried? None of them appear worried. All a bunch of robots, really. Does that seem like he's a little bit further away, maybe? True bearing a 240 at the moment. Now I'm, now I'm second guessing myself. Yeah, I would expect him. Now, now I'm second guessing myself. Maybe that maybe I was too cautious in jumping down and diving. Because really, we're still that's pretty far away. He's a merchant. He's not going to be looking out for us really too great. I don't know. Here, let's do a observation periscope. Even though we are moving at a pretty good clip, and it'll kick up a wake. It's too far away. He won't be able to see this. Yeah, look how far away he is. I bet. And let me see. So, facing at a relative 90, it looks like we're pretty much. Yeah, pretty much um, dead even within this direction. No, I was too cautious. I, I, that was kind of a panic move. I shouldn't have done it. Uh, put that periscope back down. Let's come up to the surface. You know, while I'm here, let's think about uh, setting up my torpedo settings. Uh, I'm going to these all on a high speed. Uh, 
I am actually think I'm going to do something different. I uh, know, we'll leave him in contact influence. I was thinking, see, contact influence, that the magnetic exploder might explode him, or the, the actual warhead, the detonator in the, in the nose of the torpedo might, might explode him. So contact influence, that's my thinking. You get two, uh, two chances for the, for the thing, for the warhead to actually explode. One second, where'd he go? He's over here at like 90-ish, right? Oh, there he is. Oh, we're definitely getting farther away. And leaving him behind. Hang on, I think I misestimated the course he's going. Let's let's take this thing... Um, whoops, that's wrong button. Here we go. Let's take this thing closer to like straight south and see if that brings us closer to him. Okay, so who's who's on duty right now? Lieutenant Titus. Where is everybody? What? Hang on. What? <laughs> Where is everybody? <laughs> Everybody's... It's... it's <laughs> Why is nobody up top? Look... <laughs> Okay, I take it back, guys. You're not that useless that, that I need you. You know, I really, I need I need some crew up here. Um, oh, I get it. This is the glitch. Yeah, between between recording, I actually shut the... I, I, bet, I bet you it's because I shut the game down and I saved while I, I was underwater. Hang on, let's fix this problem. Let's fix this. Okay, I'm back. We, we, we appear to be working correctly yes, now. It was, it was startling. Yeah, no, no, that's a return to course. There we go. <laughs> I jumped, went up in the deck. Nobody was there. He's got some serious morale problems in this boat. They're just abandoning their posts like that. Okay, and see if we'll give it a few minutes and see if this course gets us closer to him because he's disappearing over the horizon right now. Uh, we are not getting any closer to him. We're in danger of losing him in the haze. Okay, okay. I think I badly misjudged what direction he's going. Uh, let's go like this. Let's see what that does for us. Um, seems to me about... Maybe we're a little bit closer. Okay, let's keep... Yeah, let's keep this course for right now. See what that does. Yes, definitely closer. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's just double check this here. Was I thinking earlier? I was thinking that it's one of these Hog Island things that are so common. I don't know where Hog Island is or why they have these so many of these boats out running around, but I believe that is it. Yeah, we've got the kind of the squarish structure in front of the mid stack. I can see there's just a hint of this kind of crane right there, these big spider cranes. They kind of cut out on the sides. It looks like a little R2-D2 in back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. If I'd been smart, I would have started the stopwatch when I put down that first mark, but I forgot to do that because I was not smart. Still cannot be certain about the flag either. Relieve the watch. It's good. Get some of some fresh eyes up here. Maybe some of you guys will see this. Every time they relieve the watch, the guy wants to know what the yardbirds are doing to his boat. Every single time. I think he would have figured it out by now. Let's actually turn into him a little bit closer. Yeah, I was being paranoid before about him spotting us. Remember how difficult we are to see you over here. Oh, damn it, that audio file. I haven't got rid of it yet. Damn it, damn it, damn it. There we go. Maintain current orders. Okay. That's what I... Guy, I don't want you to hear him yelling about, him about it not being good enough. These guys just spotted a ship, and it is good enough. Thank you. 
Okay, this time I will start the stopwatch. I will change my course to run parallel to him. Actually open up a distance a little bit. What kind of distance are we looking at here? Yep, about six miles. That's good. Actually, I guess I suppose... Yeah, I don't really... I doubt that he can see us if we're any farther away in like five, six miles. So There we go. Go like this. Okay, so I still don't know his speed, but now I've got a very good estimate of his course. Because of that mark back there. Looks like... What is that? 197. Okay, so... In three minutes, my target traveled a distance of 1100 yards. It gives him a speed of 11 knots. I am currently traveling with 17 knots. So that's all very, very good. So let's say in an hour, let's just look at it this way. In an hour, he's going to travel 11 nautical miles in this direction. If I can get the game to cooperate with me. So he'll be there in an hour, and in an hour I will travel 17 nautical miles. I will be here, that's still, yeah, not quite enough time. I will not yet be looking at turning in front of him, so maybe it looks like maybe about an hour and a half-ish hour and a half to two hours will turn in set up for an attack yes I'm certain of my identification now that is a Japanese flag legitimate target guys not an especially big boat you know, 4,000 tons I'll take that not, sh not too shabby could be a little 1,800 ton thing Okay, that's just barely far enough in front of him to start thinking about turning in for an attack. So, let's change our course, which means we get to hear the guy cussing at his navigators again. I really, really hate that sound file, and I definitely, as soon as I get done playing today, whenever that is, I'm going to remember to go in and get rid of it. Yes, damn it. Now I make the turn. Starting to get kind of close here. Okay, at this point, we are... Oh, come on with this... Why do we have to listen to this? Yeah, anyway, at this point, periscope depth. Um, also, we're going to go to battle stations. So, let's start ringing that bell, please. Let's illustrate and get set up to do my whole shooting diagram. According to my custom. Okay, so he... Oh, wait a second. Whoa, was he turning? Or is that... No, I think my line's just off a little bit. It just changed whenever I was... Yeah, hang on. It's, it's just the scale made it look a little bit off. It doesn't have to be exactly as long as within a couple of degrees this will work. Okay, okay, so... The target is moving at 11 knots, so he gets a circle that's 1,100 yards. Actually, I can kill that stopwatch now. I don't need that, huh? I did remember to put that periscope down, didn't I? Let me see, where's the other one? Yes, I did. Okay, I was paranoid for a second there. Sometimes I forgot that. <laughs> okay, and my torpedoes, if I remember correctly, are going to be running at uh, 46 knots. So they get a 4,600 yard circle. Both circles are intersect at the point of impact. Now I measure the angle from the point of impact. 
to the center of both circles here. It's 14 degrees. 14 degree lead angle. <laughs> 